today we're going to start basic subtraction of fractions. Basic subtraction. So if I look here, 5 and 3 fourths take away 2 and 1 half. I have to recognize that there's not a common denominator. I have to go into my brain bank and find a common denominator. Can I make 2 a 4? And I'm going to say to myself, yes, yes I can do that. So I'm going to change my 2 and 1 half right here, and I'm going to leave my 4 there. I'm going to leave 5 and 3 fourths the same. Now, I've got to get that 2 to a 4. I'm going to multiply by 2. Whatever I do to the bottom, I've got to do to the top. 1 times 2 is 2. Now, I'm ready to subtract. 3 take away 2 is 1. Our denominator stays the same. 5 take away 2 is 3. This is in simplest form, I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to pop over here to this problem. Same thing. I need to find a common denominator. I know that I can use 9 in this problem. 7 and 8 ninths. I'm going to slide it right over because I'm going to change this 1 third into a fraction with a 9 as my denominator. Bring my 5 over times 3, times 3, 7 take away 5 is 2, 8 take away 3 is 5, bring down my 9, the denominator stays the same, I'm done. 2 and 5 ninths is in simplest form. Okay. Now, I'm going to look at this problem, 4 and 3 eighths take away 1 and 5 eighths. The denominators are the same, so I'm ready to, to subtract. If you look here, 3 take away 5. Can I do that? No. If you have 3 pencils, you cannot give me 5. I've got to find something somewhere to help me right here. I'm going to go right here to my whole number, and I'm going to change my whole number to a 3. Up here floating in space is a whole, is one whole. I've got to add a fraction here that would represent, represent that one hole that's floating up here. So this three, I just that four, I just changed it to a three. There's a hole floating in here. I've got to come up with a fraction that equals one hole that I can add here. I look right here at my denominator. It's an eight. I'm going to add eight eighths to three eighths. It's now going to give me 3 and 11 eighths. Take away 1 and 5 eighths. Yes, I know this is improper, but it's not in my answer. Now I can subtract. 11 take away 5 is 6, 2 and 6 eighths. I'm still not done. I'm going to leave my 2, I'm going to divide by 2, and I get 3 fourths. 2 and 3 fourths, I'm done. How did I come up with this 8 eighths? I look right here at my denominator. That denominator tells me what to turn this hole into. If I come right here, if I go right here, I'm going to do my normal subtraction, 1 6 take away one third. I need to find a common denominator. I'm going to do that. I'm going to use my six. So I'm going to leave three and one six. I'm going to bring my one over. I've got to make that three a six times two times two. Uh-oh. Three and one six take away one and two six. Can I take one and two? Mm -hmm. One take away two. I can't do that. I've got to come over here. Change my three to a two. I'm regrouping. I've got that one hole floating up in the air. I've got to add something that's going to equal my one hole to this one six. I look here, I get six, six. I'm going to add it. Seven, six, two, six. I'm going to bring all my whole numbers over. Guess what? Now I'm ready to subtract. Seven take away two is five. My denominator stays the same. Two take away one is one. One and five, six. I am done. 